Spatchcock Nation, American Nation, United Nations, all nations except Red Sox Nation. Screw those guys. JK, JK, 1986. All right, together. We are all in this COVID-19 thing together. We're sequestered, we're working from home. What we're gonna do today is make a totally vegan, vegetarian thing that's gonna help keep everybody safe. So let's get started. As we're living our lives, right? You're running out, getting stuff, hanging out, playing with the kids. This is a project you can make with your kids. It's something you can do fun, but also it can help you utilize the supplies you have in your house. Because the things you have to do is stay safe, stay clean and spend time with the people you love. Send them text messages, you haven't talked to them in a while, maybe write a letter, just make sure we're staying connected. So what we're doing first is we're making homemade hand sanitizer. Now what we got this from is the Nebraska Medical Center. They have a famous biocontainment unit there. They're referenced on the CDC, CNN, a bunch of places have used them, so we know them to be legit. When you're getting information online, anything like that at all, even from the show, make sure that you check the stats. Do not buy into the fear, baby. There's nothing to fear except fear itself. So what you can do is at the bottom of our video here, there's gonna be a bunch of information. You can click on the links there too. So let's get started. To start the hand sanitizer, we're using one third cup of aloe vera gel. You won't be at the beach most of the time, so you don't have a sunburn. So get your cup, one third cup of that, all right? Now comes the active ingredient. Some people use a really high proof alcohol, like a 180 proof vodka, like Devil Springs. In this house, we drink a lot of Tito's, all the stronger stuff. What we're gonna use, are two thirds of a cup of 91% rubbing alcohol. For this recipe, it's gotta be 91% or else it won't be strong enough. So two thirds of a cup of this. Now, some people, and this makes all the Karens and the Susans of the world really happy, is we'll use some essential oil. What we're gonna use is Melaleuca because it's got some immune stuff in there. But what you really want to just do is put in no more than eight, maybe nine drops. It'll also give you a little bit of a smell that you might want. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now you're gonna whisk this up. And what you want to do is you're gonna have some old little hand sanitizer things around your house. Don't get rid of them. You want to keep these in your car when you're going to the store, put them on your steering wheel. Get a little funnel and in she goes. And now you got your hand sanitizer. Now with hand sanitizer and you're washing your hands a lot, one thing you're gonna wanna do because your hands are gonna dry out. Remember, wash your hands for 20 seconds under soap and warm water whenever you can, wash everything you can. Um, after you wash your hands, get some good lotion because your hands will start to get cracked and get drying if you're doing it right. So what we like to use is Cetaphil. Cetaphil is fragrance free. It's really good. Um, I have sensitive skin because I'm just a sensitive guy and I use this all the time and it keeps my hands from falling apart. Well, everybody's putting all their hands in to take care of each other. Beacon Skiff is making hand sanitizer. A lot of local breweries are doing the same thing. That's awesome. What you can do is you can give blood, you can share some of these things that we're making here with some of your neighbors, check on elderly neighbors if you can go to the store for them. We're gonna make one other thing here, it's disinfectant spray. Now, disinfectant spray is important. Um, typically, when you go to the store, you're gonna see it's 50% rubbing alcohol and 50% water. So, we're gonna make that math simple for you. You can take an old spray bottle, make sure it's clean, and what we're gonna put in there is we are going to do three cups of alcohol. Use a funnel for this. Um, usually we use funnels for other things in Spatchcock Nation, but we're using it for a good reason this time too. So there's two cups. I'm going to put another cup so I have my three cups. Okay, since we're using 70% rubbing alcohol because that's what's most common in the stores right now, after that, okay, you're going to put in one and two thirds cups of water. This is going to give you that 50% setup, right? So one and two thirds cups. Oh, 
All right. All right, now you got your nozzle in there. You're ready to go. And what I did before Alex came over here to start shooting this is I sprayed everything down with this disinfectant. Um, when you go grocery shopping, when you go to get out your essential stuff, and we know it's essential, liquor, beer, like Sammy right here, canned goods, get a spray bottle. And when you take things out, right, don't touch your hands to your face at all when you're traveling back from the store or you're picking up takeout food, right? You're gonna take it from there, okay? And then you're gonna wipe down each one of the items. And then when you're done with that, you're gonna wash your hands. If you get produce, okay? And uh, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Yesterday I was talking some essential stuff because I was about to have some cocktails with my wife. So I needed some club soda and I dip in through a store and while I'm in there, I asked the guy behind the counter, hey dude, do you have any club soda? And he's like, sorry man, we're fresh out. A man behind me in line followed me out of the store and said, hey, I've got some um, sparkling flavored water in my car if you want a couple bottles of it. That's the type of attitude we all gotta have right now, baby. We're giving virtual hugs, virtual happy hours. This is Spatchcock Funk giving you virtual hand sanitizer. Stay safe.